the most important day in our lives and it's kind of magical and this is a story about how we met okay so let's start with me I was a pretty crazy guy I was really into the wild and I was a very happy person I love nature and I decided to do a crazy journey with a friend of mine through Africa so we started in Morocco and we went to Mauritania, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone we went down to the south until we arrived to Mozambique but this was not a quick journey it took us two years to arrive to Mozambique and when I arrived to Mozambique I was pretty tired and um, I started working on a guest house on a fucking beautiful beach and I was having the dream of my life until the 29th of June, my birthday. And when I was scrolling on Facebook, I found a message from someone. So my life was completely different than him. Actually, it was kind of boring because I was modeling at the time and I was working on the um, clothes store and I was single. I was single at the time. I had, I had girls and boys who wanted to date with me, but everything was looking one night stand. I'm not that kind of person. And that was just <laughs> But one day, I remember perfectly, of course I remember, it was 29th of June. I received a message, uh, an image shared by a friend, and I saw a huge guy with a huge dog on his side and two octopuses on his hands. And it was his birthday. I sent him on his profile, happy birthday! But it is in Portuguese. So I saw that guy sending happy birthday. I never saw him in my life, and I looked at it and I said, oh my fuck. Fucking God, he looked beautiful and I decided to send him a direct message saying, hey, how, Hello, you, hi, do, hi, how, how you doing? doing? Hello, Hello, it's me. <laughs> and I was wondering. <laughs> and I was wondering. <laughs> no, seriously, and I was uh, wondering, like, he's straight. Yeah, look, completely straight. I also really? thought he was straight. But after a while, we are, we are talking about Africa, life. Africa, yes. And he made the bomb question. The bomb question? Yes. What's the bomb question? Do you have girlfriends? <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes. no, no. He said, you have girlfriends or boyfriends? Or boyfriends. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, guys, I'm just, like very direct. Yeah. Let's get to the point. Of course, I'm single. And I said, victory, victory, you were single. How can a guy like that be single? I was like, woohoo. We talked like hours. A lot of scrolling text. Yeah, a lot. Honestly, the internet in Africa, it's not very good. So I said, hey, you want to call me? And I call him and he, we start to he, talk. He called me like 10 seconds after I gave my number. I said, hey, here's my number. Hey, hello. <laughs> it was, it's me. I loved your voice in the beginning. Oh, I love his voice. No, I love your voice. No, his voice was like very cute and sexy. Cute and sexy. The problem with the phone calls is that they were very, very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So we decided that we were going to have one phone call every day at night. And I literally, I was leaving my day just for waiting to my phone call at night. I couldn't sleep at night because I'm always thinking about him, Me too. about his voice, about, about his words. We really talk about a everything. I was completely in love by I, the time. I was obsessed. By we him. never used Skype or Facebook. So we did that for like a couple of weeks. And then we said, stop, yeah. enough is enough and it's garbage. Because we were talking already every day about meet each other. Yes, I was like, I wanna hug, I wanna hug you. I wanna, hug you. I wanna stay with you. So what I, I did was I invited him to go to Africa to meet me. Yes, but at the time I was working uh, yeah, was and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, and I said to him, yes, I spend all my money in your On cards. phone calls, <laughs> yeah. I call I, him. I spend call him. all my money on phone calls. Call you. What I decided is, okay, I'm going to Portugal. Yes, he was like, oh, so if you don't come, I will come I to will you. come to you. So I called my mom, I said, mom, I'm coming to Portugal. And she said, oh my God, yay. And then she said, but why are you coming after so many years? And I said, I found a guy and I'm in love. And she said, what she the said, fuck? A guy? A guy, because she wants to have grandchildren <laughs> and beautiful kids everywhere. Portugal, here I go. So when I arrived to Portugal, my mom and my stepdad were waiting for me. She didn't saw my face for two years, so it was pretty dramatic and nostalgic and romantic and we were crying and everything else. The day we decided to meet. Oh, that was a good day. And of course, we were talking a couple of weeks about the specific day and how and when and what we were going to do and I remember I was so 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 afraid because I'm very short and he's very oh, tall oh fuck he was so it's scared like, about this yes it's like comparing Gandalf and Frodo <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nothing compares. compares. He was really afraid that I was looking at him and he was like tiny tiny and I was big big and he was like, like only my problem. What we decided was actually very funny. We decided that he will be at 5:20 p.m. in the gardens of Casino Studio and he will be sitting down in a bench looking the direction and to the ocean. He will arrive at 5:30. Yeah, and I will need to come walking from the other direction so I can go there and I can sit down and we can be back to back. And I was like, oh my goodness, he's here. That was my magical moment. It was when we were both 
sit it back to back. And then and we gave our hands. And then remember? we were talking about okay. half an hour. Yes, then we talked for like 30 minutes. Yes, without seeing each other. We, and suddenly we said, let's turn around, one, two, three. Yeah, we stand up and we look at each other. And we hugged. Yes, we hugged. We and I, I remember I said to him, you looked exactly like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The same person. <laughs> he brought me shells and a beautiful, oh, yes, yes. And a beautiful conch. So it, after that, I decided, no, we decided, let's go to a beautiful place. And he loves beach, I love beach. Yeah. And we decided to go to my favorite beach. It's actually a very beautiful beach. <laughs> beach, beach, the Gincho place. And we drove. What's the name of that beach exactly? Crismina. We drove so we drove to Crismina Beach. We talked, we laughed, we were having a blast. We we met I, I think I we, remember I was I, when I was looking at him I was like, "Oh, we match perfectly into the landscape and him and, <laughs> and everything." I was like, "Oh my goodness, I'm so in love. I'm more in love." That's possible. Of course it is. We walked to his favorite spot there and so we sat down and we were talking about what we were talking about. We were, we're talking about what? living together. You're we talking about where I was going to sleep in that night. Our plans. Our <laughs> plans for the future. We were talking about the dinner after. We were talking we looked like two kids in like <sighs> Disneyland. So then I told him something like, I'm sorry, Pedro, but I really need to do this. Oh, yes, I remember. And then he kissed me. <laughs> like, he catched <laughs> my was, face and he kissed me. And, and like, kissed. I think it was a beautiful kiss. I'm, I'm I, felt like, I, I felt amazing. Yeah. I'm more in love. I had a boner. And then I said, I live here, near here, so let's go to my house and yes. spend the night together. Yes, so we went Don't to... think we did something bad, eh? We went to my house. We went to your house. We cooked. Oh, oh we yes. cooked something. Do you remember? Oh, yes, my goodness. Oh, my He's God. crazy about cooking, as Thank you know, you. because in Sex Funny Kitchen you can see. <laughs> no, seriously. Then he you cooked remember. for me. He cooked for me a beautiful... Ah, okay, okay, okay. I promise you dish. that this Thursday, Sexy Funny Kitchen, we will cook for you the same food we did on the first day we cooked together. After dinner. After dinner, we made a huge orgy with all the building. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, yes. believe it or not, we didn't make sex or nothing related to it for at least almost six months. Yes, almost. we were kind of old believe guys. We were not into it. I don't know how to explain it. I like sex. I like sex too. <laughs> yes, you do. And, and I remember we were on I, the couch. Just speaking and hugging and just like very close to each other. It felt like super good. We were talking a lot and was like, oh, I can't believe you are here. And you were yeah. saying, oh, I can't believe I'm here with you. I was in paradise. <sighs> I was in paradise. I was it, in a paradise too. It was, it was a perfect night. It was the best. Me too. Totally the best Mind. night. Mind. And when we filmed this, it actually felt very cool to go to the places again and be there filming and doing this video for you. Flawless. And we did one special thing. <gasps> oh yes, guys! You remember that I brought five uh, shells and conches from Africa? So we eyed one of them near the bench where we met. And the first person that goes there and take it, you can keep it, it's for you. You're gonna be happy, you're gonna marry, you're gonna be happy forever, it, happily yes. ever after. Happy ever, and we're gonna stay together forever so you guys can go to that bench and give a kiss and propose And believe something. us, that conch or shell or something Booze contains you. a really good energy. It does. <gasps> and since that day, we literally have slept together every single night. Every single night. And look guys, we have... Nothing in common. Nothing in common. But everything looks work out with us. Yes. Look, if you really? if you are not in a relationship yet, or if you haven't found your true love, rule number one: don't try to search or to find it like desperately. Just keep on being happy, keep on doing your thing, and have a good karma. Respect everyone and everyone else. And when you least expect it. Here it comes. Because love is love. Love is fucking love awesome. Is love. We hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like our story and join the sexy family. And Give us a thumbs up. Good. See you next Thursday with a very special sexy funny kitchen. Special. And if you miss us, just follow us on Snapchat. We post daily ah. shit on Snapchat. So guys, yes. we love you. And never forget to smile, guys. And I love you. I love you. Bye. Oh God. <laughs> ah.